is a quick tip for Linux systems. Maybe true for other Unix type systems. I would think maybe so. And um, if you are familiar with uh, computers at all with the networking, you know that different services run on different ports by default. I mean, obviously you can make uh, HTTP uh, server run on any port you want or really any other service, but they have def default ports like HTTP should be run on on um, 80 or 8080 if it's uh, encrypted HTTPS uh, and like um, a SSH shell should be running on uh, port 22 by default unless you've changed that. Uh, and there are, you can go online and Google list of port numbers and see what they're for, but actually uh, most Linux systems uh, have a list or a for you. It's just a plain text file and we'll cat it out right here. We'll say cat and we'll say uh, the folder is etc and the file is called services. If we cat that out, you can see a list of ports and what services they are off to the right. Um, so this is a quick easy way to to get a list of that without having to go online because it's probably on um, most systems. So of course you can also uh, use less to go through that and scroll through it if you'd like. Q to get out of that. Um, and then you can also search for stuff using greps. So like, oh, what port is uh, SSH supposed to run on by default? We can say grep SSH from that file and you'll see that SSH uh, is running on port 22. And it's an SSH remote login protocol. Um, of course, you could also go the other way with the port number. You might get a little bit more than uh, you are looking for, but we'll search 22. So of course, you're going to get other um, ports here that have the number 22 in them, but you can quickly see oh, 022, oh, right there, SSH. So this was a quick tip, and since it's kind of a quick, short little video, I'm going to give you a little extra tidbit of information. Uh, I've got my Arcos tablet uh, running Android connected to my computer, so I'm going to run uh, ADB shell to log into that. I'm connected to it through USB, and by default, I'm inside a, a BusyBox shell here. And um, just to show you, even though Android is a pretty slimmed down system, it also has this uh, same service file here. So even if you're on an Android phone, if you have your shell or a way of looking at files, you can access this file. Um, by default, uh, at least on my tablet here, with a very basic uh, version of BusyBox, there is no less command, but more is more or less less. Yes. Uh, so, uh, services, I can spell stuff right. There we go. Um, and there we go. I, I can now go through here. Formatting is a little bit off uh, on the Android doing it this way, but you can quickly find through there. And, of course, uh, you should be able to grep for 22, port 22 on that file and get the same output. Obviously grep on Android doesn't have the color uh, coding built in but not a big deal in this case but there you go. So that's the file etc services um, and uh, it seems to be on uh, even slimmed down uh, systems of Linux. I mean I'm, I'm sure maybe there's other versions of Linux out there that don't have it but if it's on Android it's probably on most distributions out there for desktops and it's just a quick easy way without having to get online and googling it to maybe search for different protocols uh, and ports so you can see what uh, these services do or where these services run and uh, that's it for this tutorial it's kind of a quick short one hope you enjoyed it hope you find it useful and it's just a little bit on your Linux system. Thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.